Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can record voiceovers with added audio effects or VST plugins inside of DaVinci Resolve. So in order to record voiceovers, you should do it over on the Fairlight tab. That's where you do most audio-centric things. So you can come in here. You may already have audio tracks 1 and 2. I recommend creating a new audio track such as audio track 3 by right clicking going add track and stereo so that when we record audio it can go on a completely new track and it's not going to accidentally overwrite anything on tracks 1 or 2. Next up you need to open the mixer which is openable in the top right hand corner. You'll initially see it kind of closed like this where you'll only see audio track A1 but you can click on this uh, line over here and drag it over to the left to review the other audio tracks. So you need to find the audio track that you want to record on and then where it says input and then no input you click on it and you click input again and this will give you the patcher system which allows you to connect a microphone to track input or basically uh, what device is going to be used on your track to record audio. So here I have some devices I can connect. I'm going to click on my USB audio device and I and as you can see, because we checked uh, audio 3 as the audio track that we're entering the mixer from, it's already selected over here on the right, so we just need to hit patch. You can see that the USB audio device has been connected to audio 3, left and right, and left and right have been connected to the audio device. So that's great. Now what we can do is add an audio effect on top of that. So if you click on the effects plus sign, you'll get Fairlight effects, which are all the new 12 audio effects they added in DaVinci Resolve 15. And you can also have VST plugins. So VST plugins are just third-party tools that integrate into basically any VST plugin compatible software. Um, so that you can basically run some filters or effects through your final audio output, kind of in the same way that the built-in effects do. So for instance, I could come down here to Fairlight Effects and Pitch or Modulation and I can change how the recorded audio is going to sound. So with Pitch, I can increase the semitones in order to make the voice higher pitched when we actually record it. So now what we can actually do to start the recording is to hit the R button on Audio Track 3. You can see that this cues it up for recording. It's now receiving all the import sounds. And then when we're ready to start speaking, we just position it in the timeline where we want to record the line. You can also hit I and O to set endpoints and out points. And then you just hit the record button. And now we just need to go find where we want to start recording from. And we hit this record button up here. And as I talk into the microphone, you're going to notice that it's showing up on the track now. And it should show up with this pitch audio effect because we enabled that on the track. Um, the viewer in the top right can show you the video that you're trying to voice over. You can also pop this out, by the way, if you need a bigger screen for that video. And when you're done, you can just hit the stop button. And now the new audio has been captured. It's uh, saved as a file inside of our project, but it's also in the timeline from the start to end points. So now we can go ahead and play this back, but in order for the recording here to not mess with that timeline audio, you want to uncue the recording button there. And now I'm gonna re-enable audio so we can listen back. And I'll also mute my first two tracks here because we just wanna hear the new recorded audio. So this is kind of what it's gonna sound like with that pitch effect. And as I talk into the microphone, you're going to notice that it's showing up on the track now. And now, to point out one thing, before you get too carried away, if you want, you can record the audio normally, and then you can apply the effects after you've recorded them. It's up to you if you want to do it before or after, if you want to be able to play around with it a bit more later. So anytime you want to add some of those effects to the audio you've recorded, you can just drag in the effect from the effects library, and you can adjust it. So to knock the semitones back down here, uh, kind of returning it to normal, let's do something like that and see how this turns out. And as I talk into the microphone, you're going to notice that it's showing up on the track now. And, and so you can see one of the problems with recording some of your audio with the effects already on top of it. If you're not sure that's how you want the voice to sound like in the final product, trying to reverse some of the damage may cause more trouble than it's worth. So if you're going to use effects while you're recording, just make sure that that's actually how you want it to sound. You can always do a test run. But if you want, you can just record it without the effects. You can click here and then delete plugin. 
And then you can just add these effects, including VST plugins, after the fact. So that should give you a quick rundown of how you can record audio with or without effects inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. I hope you guys found this tutorial to be helpful, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.